Hello friends, today in this session, I will tell you shape test on aggregates. How to determine combined fluckiness elongation index of aggregate to be used in any layer of a pavement. The shape test is crucial because it significantly affects the pavement performance or pavement layer performance, especially its stability. Stability, durability and strength all are affected by the shape of the aggregate. In asphalt concrete, we generally prefer angular particles, but we do not prefer very elongated or very thin particles. In case of concrete pavement, because workability is more important and therefore, in design of concrete mix, we prefer the rounded particles. But here, in the case of asphalt mixture, the interlocking between aggregates is more important because that provides friction between the aggregates and more stability. Whereas in case of concrete mixed design, this friction can create problem of workability and therefore you may require more water content or more water cement ratio. The angular particles provide more friction, more interlocking and therefore more stability. Similarly, flat and elongated particles can be more susceptible to breaking during construction and under, under dynamic V load or action of moving V load. Especially in cold climate where freeze and thaw conditions can weaken the pavement. And therefore, this shape test is important to know how it will perform, how a layer will perform in the field. Two parameters are defined here. One is flackiness index and another is elongation index. Flackiness indicates the minimum dimension of an aggregate thickness. A particle is said to be flaky if its minimum dimension is less than 0.6 times the average size of the aggregate or average dimension of the aggregate. That means if the size of aggregate is let's just say passing 25 millimeter and retained on 20 millimeter and if you take any particle from this heap of the aggregate and its thickness is less than 0.6 times 25 plus 20 by 2, then it is to be a flaky particle. It is to be said to be a flaky particle. Similarly, elongated particles are those whose maximum length, maximum dimension exceeds 1.8 times the mean dimension or the average dimension. So, in the same example, if you have aggregate of passing 25 millimeter retained on 20 millimeter and if you take a particle, aggregate particle, aggregate piece from that sample and its length is more than 1.8 times 25 plus 20 by 2, then it is elongated particles. Both are not preferred flaky as well as elongated particles because they are likely to break under the load. They are weak. A flaky particle will break along the thickness. Elongated particle will break because of beam action, because of very, very long length of this particle and therefore whenever load comes on it, it will act like a beam and will break. And when the particle is broken, it creates dust and the aggregate relation is disturbed. And similarly, when you are using aggregate in the top layer, in the bitmus layer, then it will create exposed surface of the particle which is uncoated and that will give a chance or a room for stripping of the aggregate. And because of this reason, some limit is specified in Ministry of Road Transport and Highway specification for a parameter called combined, combined flackiness, flackiness elongation index. Not individual, but a combined value should not be more than 35%. For aggregate to be used in any layer, this CF 
EI should not be more than 35 percent. Let me just tell you how it is estimated, how it is determined in the laboratory. Now this flakiness index, elongation index, they can be determined on all sizes of aggregate more than 6.3 millimeter. Now this test is not applicable for aggregate of size less than 6 millimeter, 6.3 millimeter. And therefore, if you have the stockpile, take the sample from the stockpile of aggregates and remove the aggregate which is passing 6.3 millimeter. Then you separate them out in different sizes and sizes which can be tested for flakiness and elongation, they can be starting with 63 millimeter to 50 millimeter, 50 millimeter to 40 millimeter, 40 to 31.5 millimeter, 31.5 to 25, 25 to 20 and so on, 20 to 16, 16 to 12.5, 12.5 to 10 millimeter and 10 to 6.3 millimeter. Now this is the size which can be tested for flakiness and elongation index and therefore when you are doing it for a particular mix, let us say you are doing for WMM, then you have the size ranging from 63 millimeter to 6.3 millimeter or 10 millimeter. So take the sample, a representative sample from the stockpile, remove the aggregate passing 6.3 millimeter and then separate the aggregate in different sizes. So now you have aggregate of size passing 63 millimeter retained on 50 millimeter, another size of aggregate 50 to 40, another size 40 to 31.5 and so on. If these sizes are not present, for example, if you take let us say case of bitumous concrete, then you can start from here. Passing 25 retained on 20, passing 20 retained on 16 and so on. So according to your mixture, you carry out sieve analysis of aggregate using these sieve sizes. Now this is the length gauge which is used to determine the elongation index and here the space between two vertical rows is equal to 1.8 times the average size of the particle and similarly this is a thickness gauge. Now here this opening is for each individual size of aggregate and that is 60 percent of the average dimension. You can see here these are shown this is the thickness gauge for 63 to 50 millimeter size 50 millimeter to 40, 40 to 31.5, 25 to 20 and 31 to 25 is here on the side of the this thickness gauge. So you have the opening for each size and this opening as I told you it is now this is for 10 to 6.3 and this is for 31.5 to and similarly you have the length gauge, length gauge for each size of aggregate. Now this is aggregate of size 40 to 31, 25 to 20, 20 to 12.5, 20 to 16 and so on. So take a tray and let us say this and take empty weight of this tray and count 200 pieces of each size. Let us first take 40 to 31.5 millimeter size of aggregate and take 200 pieces in a tray and then take off take weight of these 200 pieces. Now this is the initial weight of the sample for this particular size of aggregate. Now choose the flakiness thickness gauge for flakiness test for corresponding to 40 millimeter to 31.5 millimeter and try to pass each of these aggregates through this slit through this opening here. If it passes that means its thickness is less than 60 percent of the average dimension that means it is flaky particle. If it does not pass then it is non-flaky. Do not force any particle to pass through. Collect the material which passes. Now these are the aggregates which have passed the thickness gauge 
take the weight of these particles and that is your weight of flaky aggregates. Similarly, you carry out the same test for different sizes. This was for 40 to 31.5. Take another sample of 200 aggregates of passing 31.5 to 25 and, 20, and another aggregate sample, another 200 pieces of passing 25 millimeter and retained on 20 millimeter and so on. Carry out all these tests. Now, let us say the initial weight, I am talking about passing 31, uh, for passing 40 millimeter and retained on 31.5 millimeter. Let us say the weight of 200 pieces, 200 pieces is 5090 gram and when you separate the flecky particles from this you get the weight of flecky particles let us say 819 gram so fleckiness index for this size of aggregate is 819 upon 5090 into 100 16.09 percent now, this is the fleckiness index of this aggregate of size passing 40 retained on 31.5. Now, remaining aggregates are non flecky aggregates. So, remaining aggregates are the weight of non flecky aggregates is 5090 minus 819, that is 4270 gram. Do the elongation test on these aggregates. So, take appropriate length gauge here corresponding to this size 41, 31.5 and try to pass each of these aggregates through this length gauge. Now, here if it passes, it is fine. If it does not pass, that means it is longer than 1.8 times and that is your elongated particles. So, here you collect weight of all particles which do not pass through this length gauge. Again, you do not force any particle to pass. Let it pass its own and take the weight of these elongated particles. Elongated particles are those which are not passing through the length gauge. So, take weight of all these particles. Let us say weight of these particles which did not pass through the length gauge is 500 to grams. So, elongation index now, elongation index is 512 divided by 4270 and that is 11.98%. Now, combined fleckiness elongation index CF E i is 16.09 plus 11.98 that is 28.07 percent. This value plus this value that is how you calculate the combined flackiness elongation index. Now, this is only for one size passing 40 millimeter retained on 31.5 millimeter. As I told you, you have different sizes. You have aggregates of different sizes. So, carry out this test. Repeat the same procedure for other sizes also. Let us say in a stockpile, you have sizes passing 25 retained on 20. You have 20 to 16 millimeter, 16 to 12.5 millimeter and 12.5 to 10 millimeter. Let us say these are the, just for example, these are the sizes which are available in the stockpile. You carry out this fleckiness test first. See the sequence. Now first you carry out fleckiness test. Carry out fleckiness test on this size of aggregate, on this size of aggregate, on this size of aggregate and on this size of aggregate. So for that you take 200 pieces. So let us say the weight of 200 pieces, 200 pieces of this size is 5000 gram, 
this is 4800 grams 4200 grams and 3050 grams initial weight of the sample taken on each size now carry out flakiness test for this size of sample and let us say weight of flaky particles is 618390 test is simple a bit longer time consuming but a very simple test can be done at site also so flakiness index for the entire sample of the aggregate from 25 to 10 millimeter will be calculated like this the flakiness index is weight of all flaky particles that is 618 plus 390 plus 420 plus 313 divided by total sample size that is your 5000 plus 4800 plus 4200 plus 3050 and that is equal to 1741 divided by 17050 that's a 10.21% now remaining non flaky particles non flaky particles now are 500 5000 minus 618 weight of all non flecky particles so that is 4382441037 gram now carry out the length the elongation test on these aggregates on non flecky so appropriately choose the length gauge for individual size Try to pass each particle through the length gauge and collect the material which does not pass. Take their weight and let us say that weight of elongated particles, elongated particles are now recorded as 478 gram, 395 gram, 362 gram and 209 gram. So take weight of all these combined this total weight is now 1444 gram so out of non flecky particles the total weight of non flecky particles was 17050 minus 1741 1444 grams 1444 grams are now elongated so elongation index will be Elongation index will be this 1444 divided by difference of these two that is 151309. Sum of all these values 15309 into 100 that is 9.43 percent. Now the combined fluckiness elongation index for the entire sample of aggregate which is being used in bitmus concrete or any other layer will be this value 10.21 plus 9.43 that is 19.64 percent is the combined fluckiness 19.64 percent is your combined flakiness elongation index and this should be less than 35 percent according to ministry of road transport and highways specification this value must be less than 35 percent so that is how you determine the shape of aggregates and that's the important test during quality control of aggregate whenever there is a change in the crusher you should carry out the shape test on aggregate whenever there is a change in the pressure or there is a change in the source of aggregate this test is mandatory so friends thank you very much for watching this video if you have any questions you can write